Well, so that's the keep of Newcastle Castle, and uh, well, the keep looks quite impressive, I think. And built 1178 around 1278, or thereabouts, 1160 maybe we'll start, I can't remember. And um, it was built in such a way that often the keep uh, could form part of the walls, but the walls were built around it, so in fact, the keep came nothing more really than like a storehouse and a somewhere uh, to, uh, to hang out when you were in town if you were the king and um, we can see some of the walls here That's the city walls, there we are and beyond that we have the high level bridge and, uh, and the well now, um, the, the, the railway station, the main railway station is just up there and you can see the keep very clearly from the, uh, from the uh, the western end of the, uh, the uh, sorry, the eastern end of the platform, and the railway line was actually built straight through the castle, uh, uh, aiding in its destruction, because a lot of the walls were still here uh, at the beginning of the 19th century, because they'd actually been hidden by the tenement housing and all the rest of it, which had been built around, that the walls had been used to be built in the houses. But when they started the slum killing, which was in the 19th, beginning of the 19th century, uh, that was one of the things that went. So, and. Um, so the walls went, except for what we've got here, which isn't much. But you can see how it would have defended the uh, the northern approach to the castle. But I, I can only think though that the, uh, the, the 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 bridge, I should say, that the, the castle was built on the wrong side. Uh, because if you're looking for defence, then you want to be on the other side. But then again, if you want to protect the bridge, it's supposed to be on this side.